This video, I wanna talk just about boundary setting, yeah? Boundary setting and everything we do is so important, so vital, yeah? But how do you set a boundary effectively? There's a few tips that I wanna go over with boundary setting, regardless of who you're talking to, but especially in a relationship sense. So setting a boundary, the best way to do it is fast. The faster you set a boundary, the more effective it's going to be, the more chance it has to sticking. The slower you are at setting a boundary, the less chance you have at making that boundary stick, okay? So if someone calls you a name or says something disrespectful to you and you spend 20 minutes lecturing them about how you find it disrespectful, the, lo the longer you go on about it, they'll start being defensive about it in the head. They'll start defending their behavior. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. It was just an accident. I didn't mean it. It was a joke. They'll start defending it. They'll start defending it in their head. But if you do it really fast, the brain doesn't have a chance to go defensive. Just go, hey, I don't like that. And they go, oh, sorry. And they don't have a chance to defend it. They already accepted they did something wrong and they move on. So the trick is to do it really fast and then move on to something positive, yeah? It needs, the way I describe it, it's like a toddler playing with a PowerPoint, yeah? Quick slap on the wrist and then you move on. With setting a boundary, a quick slap on the wrist and then move on. It's a lot better and it's a lot faster than setting a boundary. So, you'd need to be fast with setting boundaries, okay? If someone calls you an offensive name today and you don't say anything about it, and then they do the same thing tomorrow, then you say something about it tomorrow, it's already too late. Say it the first time, say it immediately. Don't wait an hour, say it in the moment. Don't go, don't come at someone before, you know, bef before you guys go to bed and say, hey, I didn't like what you said to me this morning. It's too late, the moment's passed. Deal with it in the moment. So say, um, you know, you, you're out shopping or something like that, and your partner says, says to you, ah, oh, we should have done that, ah, oh, you're an idiot. But they were half joking, but they still were rude to you, disrespectful perhaps. You say, the best thing to say in that circumstance is to look at them and go, excuse me? Doing with that tone, a bit of a furrowed brow and no sign of joking on your lips, dead, dead, dead flat lips, like, excuse me, like that, then usually most of the time your partner will turn around and go, oh, nothing, sorry. Usually, usually they'll say sorry or say, oh, I didn't mean that. And then you go, okay, let's keep going. And then you want to change the subject as quickly as possible. You don't want to go on about it anymore. As soon as they acknowledge it, you want to turn the conversation as quickly as possible by saying things like, oh, okay, let's go and get some ice cream. Oh, what, what do we need from that shop? Oh, let's go and do something else. Did you, see, did you see this video? You know, just something which is unrelated and preferably positive if you can. If they say, you know, oh, you should have gone in there, you idiot, and you go, excuse me, and they go, well, I was just saying, it's you, you're being stupid, you should have went in there. And you, then, if they're, they're not admitting it straight away, you need to say something along the lines of, yeah, don't talk to me like that. If you say it in that tone, with a furrowed brow, dead lips and stuff like that, very serious, they'll go, oh, okay. And then what you need to do is change the subject immediately, again. So we wanna to get to that end point as quickly as possible fast and aggressively as possible, okay? And that is how you set a boundary very quickly. If you have a very strong aura about yourself and you're really good at doing this, guys, the males especially, guys, never let anyone disrespect you. Guys, never let, never let someone treat you like a doormat, okay? Remember, you're a strong, confident alpha male leader. Don't let people talk down to you. Don't let them walk over you. Stand up for yourself. Make them pay you the respect that you deserve. Okay, so at any time, if anyone's even close to your boundaries, make sure that you pull them up and you pull them up fast and you pull them up hard to make sure that they don't cross those boundaries. If they cross the boundaries, it is your fault they cross the boundaries because you didn't set them hard enough, yeah? Just like a little kid, if you have a little toddler and they're playing with a knife and a PowerPoint, if they get electrocuted, it's not their fault, it's your fault because you didn't set the boundary. You didn't tell them it was wrong to do, you understand? People are going to test you. And if someone crosses your boundary, it's your fault that they cross the boundary because you didn't set it strong enough. Take some responsibility. 
You take all the responsibility. Guess who crosses my boundaries? Very, very, very few people because I set the boundary fast, okay? And they do cross the boundaries. I pull them up and I pull them up hard and aggressively so they know, hey, that doesn't happen in my world. You wanna be a part of my world, you will act with respect. And that's, just, that's, that's the way it's gotta be, okay? So take some responsibility, learn how to set boundaries properly like in this video. If you want more help with anything to do with this subject, put in the comments or send me a message on social media. I'm here to help guys. My purpose in life is to help as many people as I can with relationships.